Police are looking for the killer who shot a man during a pickup basketball game at an Arlington Park on Sunday. Today, Fox 4 News learned the victim was the son of two Detroit police officers and he had moved here for a better life. Fox 4's Brandon Todd is in Arlington right now with more on the police investigation. Brandon. Yeah, Steve and Charles Harris was excited about his life. He was washing planes at DFW Airport. He was working security at AT&T Stadium. He just started college classes. His friends right now are in disbelief that he lost his life over a basketball game in the park. Christian Davis still can't believe a simple pickup game of basketball Sunday evening at Brantley Hinshaw Park in Arlington turned into a shooting that left his friend, 21-year-old Charles Harris, dead. He got fouled and dudes started calling us out our names and that's when everything escalated into a fight. The basketball court sits next to Atherton Elementary School. Davis says after the fight, they had just gotten back to their truck and he heard a gunshot. I just seen Chuck, he eye and I remember my brother picked him up and put him in the truck. He was saying stuff, he was, he was breathing and everything, but when we made it to the hospital, they say he didn't make it. Harris had just moved here from Detroit nearly seven months ago for a chance at a better life. He got ready to leave. I dropped him off at the airport October 17th, and that's the last time I saw my father. His mother, who along with Harris's stepfather, are Detroit police officers. She told us by phone that he left there thinking it would be safer here. In Detroit, there's you know, propensity for violence, gun violence particularly, <laughs> um, almost on a daily basis. So. Uh, we thought it would be a good move for him. He left to escape the violence he eventually succumbed to it. Police released this sketch of the suspect. In particular, we're looking at the hairstyle the individual had. It's pretty unique. Police said they wanted the public to help, or they want the suspect to come in and give his side of what happened. Uh, this young man lost his life in a senseless act of violence. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon, he's enjoying a pickup game of basketball with his friends, just like any, you know, any young man would. Taniqua Roche says her son was on his way up, working two jobs and taking college classes. Every time I spoke to him, he was more and more motivated, and it just sounded like I could just hear in his voice. I think this is the happy I ever heard, the happiest I've ever heard my son in his adult life. And it's not just a sketch that the police department is uh, asking the public to look at. If anyone lives nearby there or saw or heard anything, they want to talk to you too. Steve? All right, Brandon, the people who were around, a lot of witnesses saw this. Do they think this suspect is an Arlington guy? They think he's still maybe in the area? Or has this thing spread out more than that? Well, they're trying to spread that search out. Now, granted, uh, they say that the suspect didn't drive there. Uh, and even the witness we talked to said that they ran off uh, after the shooting. So it, it's quite possible that they could be in Arlington, but the Arlington Police Department is saying they're asking for people in even surrounding cities to take a close look at that sketch. Steve? Okay, Brandon Todd, thank you. And if people want to take a close look, it is on our Facebook page. Brandon, thanks.